What's up guys, it's the CH and welcome back to part 10. And I'm sorry I took a couple days off for making videos, so I apologize to anybody who was currently watching this series and didn't have anywhere to go after the ninth video. But now I'm back, so let's go ahead and rock and roll. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create our first page. Well, that's not true, because we already created our index.php page. But we're gonna create the HTML tag structure to one of the pages. And first things first is I wanna add, I wanna create a couple more pages and add them to our root folder. So where's my text editor? I'm gonna open this up right here. Click on new and it opened up in my external browser. Okay, so I want to create a page called do, 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 do. I want to create a page called faculty and I'm going to steal all of the HTML code from the index.php page. So you can right click on that, open this up with TextMate or whatever text editor that you're using. So here is my index.php page. And I just stole all this HTML code. I'm going to use it as my template for this new page I'm about to create. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this Village Park. And I'm going to save it to our root folder as faculty.php. I'm going to do this a couple more times. So I'm going to go ahead and create another folder. And I'm going to steal this information again, copy C, and I'm going to paste it in here. And I'm going to save this page as content or main. No, we'll just we'll just call it content. So save as. Actually, let me give it a title first because we already titled this Village Park. We'll title we'll title this main content. How's that? And then we'll save it to our root folder as content.php and I think that's all the files PHP files that I want to create right now actually I want to go ahead and create one more and I want to call this one logout so I'm gonna go ahead and steal this Let's copy this create a new blank document my text editor and I'm gonna title this logout And do, 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 do. I think that's all I want to create right now. Save this as logout.php. Let me go ahead and create one more page for the time being. So I'm going to copy and paste all this stuff, and I'm going to call this new faculty user. So say somebody got a new job working for our company and we need to create their information. So they're going to log in through this page. And we'll go ahead and save it. And I'll title it just new underscore fac, F-A-C dot P-H-P. And let's go ahead and save it. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and close this other stuff out. I'm going to close out my logout dot P-H-P and my content as well. And okay, so we'll start with the faculty.php page first. I can even close out my index.php page. And here's our root folder. We got content.php, our CSS folder, faculty.php, which we're going to work on right now. Images includes index, JavaScript, logout, and new faculty. So let's go ahead and what do we want to do with our faculty page? I'm going to go ahead and paste a bunch of HTML code in here, code that I've already created. I'm not going to do it because it's going to take a large amount of time. So what I want you to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this over here. You can't see what I'm doing because I'm on my external browser right now. And I'm going to go ahead and create my text editor a little bit wider. And I'm going to paste all my stuff right in here. Let me try to fit this all in the screen. So what do I have right here? I've got my header right here, and I try to comment uh, most of the HTML stuff in. So here's our header and title, or here's not our title, here's our header. Let me get rid of this. 
So here's our main content, and it's going to go all the way down here to our bottom div. And then in here, we're going to create an HTML table because I don't really want to spend too much time on CSS because I'm assuming you guys already know a little CSS and HTML by now. So I'm going to go ahead and create our div ID of content, and then under here is going to be our table. And then we're going to have our pages in here where we just created our content.php page, new faculty underscore new underscore fac, F-A-C dot PHP. That wasn't so hard add new user, add new faculty user, and then our logout, and then we're going to have our footer down here. I can go ahead and grab our body tag and our closing HTML tag and pull them up a little bit further. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this, and let's go ahead and type this into our browser and see what this looks like. Faculty.php. Perfect. That looks pretty good. Well, it it's what we wanted it to look like, but it still has zero CSS. So in the next video, let's go ahead and create some CSS so this doesn't look so prehistoric. All right, guys, well, good luck with this, and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.